it's uh, here the Sibit at the booth of ETH Zurich, right here. We are checking out this um, Feather drone. Hello, so who are you? Hi, I'm Chris McCall, I'm the CEO of Photokite. Uh, what's the name of the company? It's Photokite. Photokite. Yeah. So, it looks like a kite with a drone? That's right. How does it work? Yeah, so what we do is we add a tether to a, to a drone and we integrate the whole system so that it becomes 100% fully autonomous. It flies itself, just like a kite. Uh, it's a system that you'd be able to hand off to anybody to be able to fly. You can focus on your shot and being a cameraman rather than focusing on, on flying and drones. How do you focus on the shot? How do you work? In terms of control, it's super easy. Right now, the system is zero power. I'm talking about the Can you change how you want to change? If you want to change where the camera is looking, it's just a simple joystick right here. So I can go down. Let's turn it a little bit more. Yeah, I'll do it right here. So I can get the drone in the background. So that, that's moving the camera right now. Yeah, that's right. So right now you can control very easily where it's looking from side to side as well as up and down. You know, right? You can get a very easy, quick aerial view. The other joystick actually controls the position. So we can also change where the vehicle is flying. If we want to bring it further down or over to the left, it's as nice. easy as just one quick maneuver. Let's take it for a spin. So if we let out the tether a little bit further, we can get right out over the aisle, bring it up a little bit, and we've got this beautiful aerial shot of what's going on around us. You can control it wherever you want to be looking. Does it basically you always try to get the, the, the tether to be uh, straight? Like exactly. What's called? Yeah, so it's always going to try to maintain the angle relative to you that you give it, just like a kite that's in the wind. Uh, that's an awesome idea, right? Thanks. So, it's your idea? Uh, it's the company's, uh, yeah, company's product. What, what we did is we spun off from ETH Zurich as a company, and we've been developing this system ever since. Um, because uh, my dream has been to see to have a selfie drone. Okay. Is this a selfie drone? Uh, it's a tethered drone. You can certainly use it for selfies, but. You know, we're more excited about the uses that uh, you can put this system up in the air just about anywhere, uh, even over crowds of people, and really safely and easily capture that content. So let's get it back closer to us. Sure. Well, actually, there's another one right here, right? Uh, uh, that's our consumer product, yeah. Yeah. So if you get it closer. Um, how long is the battery right now? Can so we get power through the cable? This system does power the system from the cable. So and it so just this, flies forever? Yeah, we started it this morning and we fly it all day long. That's kind of special. It is, definitely. Has, have, have you ever heard anyone else do this? Uh, you know, there's not a lot of people doing tethered drones right now, especially in kind of the light industrial space. Uh, we're really excited about the use cases that we're targeting. Um, how much excitement is there thus far? Because is this new? Uh, it's relatively new, yeah. We, we uh, released our very first product, the Photokite Pro, just over a year ago. And we've made initial sales to people like BBC, CNN, AFP. And they're using these out in the field for some really exciting news shots. Nice. Uh, when, when we were watching uh, Trump get elected, maybe they had a few of these out there. And they were uh, flying above uh, the crowds very smoothly and basically flying the whole day. Uh, yeah, basically you can plug it into any kind of power source and keep this thing up in the air longer than you can with the traditional drone. Longer, like forever. Right. Uh, what's going to fail? When a bird attacks it, that's the only failure point. Boy, you know, we haven't seen that happen yet. Uh, and in terms of testing and failure of the system, we've even flown one of these for 52 days straight without a failure. Um, Is it good with wind and stuff? Yeah, so when, when wind blows in the same direction that you're flying, it actually will use that wind to sail, just like a kite, right? That's awesome. How much it cost? Is there a secret or...? Uh, in terms of our professional system, they're quite expensive. They, they started around 7,000 euros. For CNN, that's peanuts. Yeah, for, for, for a lot of the users, you know, it's, uh, it's all about what kind of value it brings. So let's, uh, let's walk around it over here. Over here. Very cool. Maybe you can come over here and uh, 
uh, show this one. So uh, you have a consumer version right here. This, this looks right. amazing also. Yeah, this is called the Photokite Feed. It folds up and fits inside of here. So let me show you how it works out in the aisle here. So once you bring it out of the tube, you just give it a little shake, the arms unfold, clip it into place, and when you turn it on, it's ready to go. Okay. The special thing about Photokite systems are it, it doesn't require any kind of GPS signal, doesn't require any kind of calibration to just be ready to get up and fly. It's, so it's, it's kited, it's tethered. It's right always here. tethered. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, this is a controller. Yeah. So this is the leash, and it's got two buttons to be able to control where the camera's looking and where it's flying as well. And you can also control when you take a picture or a video, things like that. But it's not powered through the cable right here. No, it's not. In fact, this one has an onboard battery just like a regular drone. So that's uh, 10 minutes or? It'll fly for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. And uh, how, far, how, long, how far is the cable? The tether length here goes up to 30 meters. Are you planning to do a, a power through cable for consumer? Uh, you know, so far we haven't seen a big demand from the consumer market for a power over tether solution. Uh, if we see one come up, then maybe we'll reevaluate. And have you been using this one? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So I, I take it up into the mountains where, where we're based in Switzerland and, uh, you know, take it skiing or biking. It's a ton of fun. You do that? Yeah. yeah. And you just uh, pull it right just behind pull you. Pull it behind you? Yeah. Let me show you how it works. So just like the Photokite Pro, you kind of point it in the direction that you want it to fly, you give it a twist, and the motors will start to ramp up, and then off it'll go. So once it's in the air, it'll hold that same angle relative to me, whether it's right here one meter away, or up to 30 meters away. 30? Yeah. Ah, that's so cool. Yeah. And so even right now, we could just start going for a walk with it. You're just walking your kite. And how do you bring it down? You just pull it a little bit? Yep. So it auto retracts right into the leash here. And that's where all the cable is stored. Uh, yeah. That's so cool. Uh, is it for sale? Uh, yeah, so we already launched this uh, back in the end of 2016. Uh, it was also a crowdfunded campaign over Indiegogo. Now we've already sold out of our in initial 1,500 units. 1,500? How much was each? Uh, we started off sales at 249. And uh, so is this mass production? Is not a uh, prototype right now? No, no, this is this is fully mass produced. So the 1500, you shipped them? Yep. So that's 1500 people super happy around the world. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are really enjoying how they're using it. Uh, the people, uh, there's no limit in how, how fast you move around? Uh, uh, doing sports. You know, our best test so far was putting one of our earlier prototypes into the hands of a professional s Swiss skier, and he just blasted down the mountain with it in tow, uh, and, it, and it kept right up with him. It was actually a beautiful flight. And it was filming him the whole time. Yep. But it doesn't. Uh, does it recognize where you are? So actually, that's one of the very special things about the Photokite. We enabled this front area right here to put the tether into and we put it into what we call follow me mode and that means that wherever you pull the tether from it'll always point the camera at that direction that's so cool yeah so we kind of we kind of get the that follow me feature for completely free nice um this is a swiss company yeah that's right uh, boy, what's next is building in more and more intelligence and connectivity into these devices so that they don't become just a, a hardware device, they become you know, a much more connected and uh, intelligent type of system. Uh, intelligence system. Yeah, so we don't want to... You don't want to break off the tether. Well, what we don't want to do is... Yeah, so right now, even now, if, if the tether does get cut or breaks, uh, the system will automatically detect that within half a meter. It'll hover and then softly come down. But uh, what I mean is, uh, as an option, you could like people can free it and then get it back somehow. Uh, that then you would have to need to add a whole bunch of other stuff in there. But yeah. Your whole point is you want to tether it. That's right. Nice. Uh, so that's the ultimate way of doing the follow me drone. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, I think that there are a lot of advantages to the way that we're doing it, uh, and there will be a, there will be a few other ways to do it as well. But for now, we're really quite happy with what we've come up with. Can go as fast as following a car. 
Uh, you know, it probably probably isn't made for driving around on the freeway with, <laughs> but uh, you can you can do some traveling shots with the vehicle. So just Yeah, exactly. Cool. Awesome. All right. So, uh, how many people in the company? Uh, right now, we've got nine people on board. So uh, hopefully there's so much interest that you're really thinking about what to do next. That'd be great, yeah. We're, we're already working on the next things right now. Cool.